Welcome to this Tactical Assault tutorial. We recently teamed up with the awesome people over at Live to integrate the Live Creator Kit into Tactical Assault VR on both Quest and PC. This means that Quest players will now be able to capture all the different camera angles that have previously only been available on PC, so they can record cinematic gameplay clips directly to the Quest headset. PC players will have access to the same cameras as before, but the recording process is now much easier and doesn't require external programs like OBS. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable the Live Creator Kit, some tips and tricks on how to use it, and finally, I'll show you a quick example of what's possible with this new tool. To enable the Live Creator Kit on both PC and Quest, just go to the Settings menu. This can be accessed anytime during a mission or from the main menu of the game. Open the Live Creator tab and just check the box marked Render Documentary Cameras. Just be aware that activating the Live Creator Kit can affect the frame rate on both PC and Quest, so I would recommend only enabling it when you intend to record some gameplay. Here you have the option to include the microphone in your recording if you want to add your own commentary. On Quest, just ensure that your microphone isn't muted in the MetaQuest settings, and on PC, just ensure that your headset microphone is set as the default microphone in Windows. On Quest, your recordings will be captured at 720p, 30 frames per second. On PC, you'll have options to record from 720p, 60 frames per second, all the way up to 4K, 60 frames per second. One of my favorite features is the auto cycle option. This will automatically switch the camera angle on the fly, so you can get some really creative shots without having to manually change the camera yourself. You can set the camera to change from every 5 seconds all the way up to 60 second intervals. On the right here, you can select which cameras you want to be activated. I'd recommend turning off the documentary camera at the very bottom, unless you have a dedicated cameraman on your team. Quick tip, if you do have a dedicated cameraman on your team, they can select the War Correspondent outfit in the Avatar customization menu from the main menu of the game. Once you've got everything set up how you like, just press the save button. Now when you return to the settings menu during a mission, you can cycle through the cameras that you activated and see a small preview window of the selected camera. When you press the record button, you'll see a small red recording icon in your field of view just to remind you that you're recording. You can manually stop the recording at any time just by pressing stop, or the game will automatically stop the recording at the end of a mission regardless of whether you are successful or you failed. Here's a couple of quick tips. Whilst holding the documentary camera, you can activate the screen by pushing in the right thumbstick. You can then push the B button on your controller to manually toggle the recording on and off. You can also use this feature with the helmet cam. Just grab the right side of your helmet where the camera is located, and when you're holding it, press the B button to toggle the recording manually on and off. Once you've done recording, you can access your clips on Quest by going into the Meta Gallery app in your headset and manually syncing the clips. This means that these clips will appear in the mobile Meta Horizon app, and you can edit the clips directly on your phone using a program like CapCut, for example. Or you can access these clips by connecting your headset to a PC and using a tool like SideQuest. Using SideQuest, you'll find the clips saved in the main Quest directory, under Movies, and in the Tactical Assault VR Recordings folder. If you're recording your gameplay on PC, you can access your recorded clips in your Steam Tactical Assault VR installation directory in the Tactical Assault VR Recordings folder. To celebrate the Live Creator Kit integration, we're going to be running a community competition judged on who can create the best short film using these awesome new Live recording tools. Gameplay can be captured either on Quest or PC, and for more information on how to enter the competition and the prizes available, just join our Discord which is linked in the description of this video, or keep an eye on our X page. Finally, to round up this video, here's a short example of gameplay captured directly on the Quest using the awesome auto cycle feature. Thanks very much for watching, have fun, and I'll see you out there. Cheers.
Target secured. Extraction's en route. 